Test, test, one, two, three. What's up guys? I'm John the Potter and welcome back to another pottery video. Yes, we once again have a full kiln and we're gonna unload it. We're gonna unload this kiln. So if you remember my last kiln opening, the worst kiln opening ever. So I already had all these pots glazed when I unloaded that one. So chances are that some of this stuff is gonna drip all over the kiln shelves. But let's see what happens. Let's check her out. Oh, I forgot. I wanna, you wanna. Here, let's try this again. We'll try it again. Pretend this is closed, it hasn't been opened yet. <gasps> oh, check it out, yeah. Ooh, doo, doo. So far, it looks pretty good. All right, now I'll sit you down. All right, we just got a new batch of Milk Monkey shirts in. I would say we'd sell them online, but it's love to say like, click the link below and get a Milk Monkey shirt. But. All right, here we go. Here's a big green platter. Looks pretty good. Didn't drip. Got close. Close to dripping. Yeesh. All right, we got a few bowls. There's a green bowl that looks awesome on the inside. Love that. Did not drip on the outside. Thank goodness. This is another bowl, medium-sized bowl. Looks pretty sweet. I like to test out Make sure that it sits flat. It's always annoying when it doesn't sit flat. There's another bowl. That looks awesome. Took little chunks out of the bottom there. That looks kind of good. And then we have a bunch more of these succulent planters. Kind of going all in on this whole succulent planter idea. But I do like it, so. Yeah, someone commented that I should put a bigger hole in the bottom, which I probably will do that from now on give it a little better drainage, or maybe like three holes or something. But here's just a plain matte white one. Ocean drip. Sea green to matte white. Another big bowl. This is cool, so if you can see way down on the bottom, I really like loaded the glaze on the edges and so it drips down and it like turns into this like metallic color down here, which is really, Kind of cool and different. Can you see that? Are you, is it focusing on there? I think it is. But yeah, so far, knock on wood. Oh, that's not wood, that's plastic or glass. Here's some Minnesota mugs. Got a little glazed drip on there. Another Minnesota mug with some trees. The moon, it's got a drip over right there too. Glaze likes to drip over top of that for some reason. And then some more succulent planters. Mostly matte white, little sea green. Sea green. It's just kind of a little, I think I just put a little buttercream over top and that's kind of a subtle. So I still gotta repaint kiln wash on these kiln shelves from, it's a few little pieces, but still gotta do that. All right, some more Minnesota mugs. Got that big art show, the Art Wander coming up, so definitely want lots of those. Some more Minnesota mugs with little illustrations in them. Kinda like those. This one I left a little black glaze because I thought it kinda looked like a, I don't know, just like fog or a skyline or something. It's kinda cool. More Minnesotas. Minnesotas. with that matte white and the ocean drip on top. And then I think, I don't think I showed you these ones yet. Another illustration with that Northern Lights glaze. I should just do everything. Sometimes I think I try and do too many different glazes and I should just like stick to ones that are great and just make sure that those are awesome every time. Okay, more Minnesota mugs. Got the MN in there, trees. Another one with a little drip on there. I used That used to really bug me. And I'd say like, oh, I can't sell it because it dripped over the Minnesota. Now I think like, that's kind of cool. Why not? Why wouldn't you like that? 
And then there you go. Another Minnesota mug. All right, so unloading kill number 21 is much more successful than unloading kill number 20. So I'm pleasantly surprised actually. I don't know what I did that differently, but this one was way better. That's like one of the crazy things about pottery is you just like, sometimes it's just like a guessing game. You're just kind of like, well, I'll just load the glaze on here and hope everything works out. But the more you do it, the more fires you do, the more glazes you do, stuff starts to starts to make sense. You start to know like, okay, if I load on the outside of this green, like this bowl, I probably only had like a tiny little bit that had three glazes. Because I know that this green has a tendency to, if you load it on there, that'll just right off. And then it's a mess. So, hey, you know, the only other thing that we went and visited a llama farm a few weeks ago with Ryder. And I'm gonna just put in some clips now of us visiting that llama farm. It was sweet. It's Carlson's Lovable Llamas in Laconia. They have like 90 llamas. Now we get to bisque all this pottery. We got a bunch of chip and dips, little mugs, Minnesota mugs. These aren't quite dry yet. They will be. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Like this video, comment below, tell me what your favorite piece was out of here. Comment below with any other ideas for videos that you have for me. Thanks to everyone that subscribed and watches the videos regularly. I uh, can't say enough, appreciate it very much. I'm starting to think a lot about getting a new studio and not working out of this tiny little unlit Terrible audio, terrible for video, studio. See you in the next video.